Okay, so today's video is going to be a first review back from my break. I'm reviving when flowers fall and I'm excited about it. I was contacted by a company called Slumbersack as to whether I would like to review one of their baby sleeping bags. And Scout has slept in a sleeping bag, um, I think probably since about the age of 12 weeks, as long, you know, as, as soon as he was big enough, he was in one. It was a lot better. It was a lot easier than swaddling him. He felt more comfortable and he was a bit more free and relaxed. So I jumped at the chance and I love this. I love this, it's so cute. So the one I have been sent is a sleeping bag with feet. And I have never seen a sleeping bag like this before. It looks like this. It has a cute owl print. They do do a different print. I will find out in a second for you what the other print is because I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, but this is the owl print and it just looks like this. And then at the bottom, it has this these little like feety holes, these little leg holes. So the idea of this is that you can get them ready for bed and if they want to have a bit more playtime or they want to, you know, just sit on the floor or just chill out for a bit or in the mornings you don't quite want to just hop them out the bag straight away if it's cold or you know you just kind of want to be a bit more relaxed about things you can just pop their feet through these and they can waddle around wearing their sleep bag and then you can pop their feet back in and they could use it as a sleep bag or you could they could even sleep with their legs out if they wanted to so we did end up getting the size 18 to 24 months scout has only just turned one but he is in the 98th percentile for his height. He's really tall and this is still a little bit too big. We were probably a little bit overexcited. Um, it's still a bit too big, but it means he's got room to grow and it means that he's going to be able to use it for a while because we have quite a few and I wanted one that we could really get some good use out of, um, especially with him, you know, learning to walk and everything. And these just come in so, so handy. This one is a 2.5 tog. Now, the great thing about Slumber Sack is that you can choose a design, you can choose a size, and you can also choose the tog of the bags. So if it's a summer bag you're after, you can go for something a little bit lighter. If it's a winter bag you're after, you can go for something a little bit more cushy and a little bit heavier, and it'll keep your babies warm for the time of the year that you're buying the bag. Now, I've got the website open on my phone here. They also do all sorts of things. They do travel bags, they do booties, they do toddler bedding, they do sleep bags with sleeves, they do regular sleep bags, they have a huge, huge range. So the other design you can get for the sleep bags with feet, they've only got the two, they've got the owls, which is what we've got, and they also have teddy bears, which is a little bit, if my camera will focus, sorry about the lines, this is on my phone, there you go. It's a little bit more gender neutral, it hasn't got any like specific colours on it, it's really, really cute too but I liked the owls, I thought they were cute. So the sleep bags range from 18 99 which I think is a good price because they can get really pricey from some other brands that you end up paying quite a bit. You can get them in sizes 12 to 18 months, 18 to 24 months, 24 to 36 months, or three to four years. So if you have a toddler or you know, a young kitty who still likes to sleep in sleeping bags, you can even have them up to four years old, which I think is awesome because if your kid doesn't like a blanket or doesn't like a quilt, these will probably come in really, really, really handy and they will probably think it's really fun as well. Like, you know, you can't be in your own bed. I think they're awesome. So for these bags specifically, you can get them in a one tog or a 2.5 tog and I think that's really handy again. Like I said before, you can just buy them for the time of the, the year that you're buying them. We didn't know what the, the new house would be like with holding heat, so we went for the the heavier sleep bag because we figured if it gets cold in here at night then at least Scout's going to be warm and turns out this house is actually really warm so it'll probably be one that we really really reach for during the winter but not so much at the minute we have tried it out but I think we'll probably save it now until the winter time because it's going to keep him really toasty. So when we were trying this out basically Liam does night times um generally he will come home and he will do the nighttime routine after work because that's kind of normally the time that he gets to spend with scout so i really relied on liam's opinions of this bag for this review so i did talk to him we did have to take it off scout one night because he was getting really really crabby now he hasn't been very well so 
take that into account, I think it was probably more the fact that he wasn't very well, not the sleeping bag. But the only qualm that Liam's had so far is the fact that it is a zip fastening and all the other bags that we've ever used with Scout are poppers at the top so there is nothing here. Um, Scout is a tummy sleeper and very much so and he seems to think that Scout was a little bit uncomfortable on his tummy because of the zip. Now I don't feel that it's a problem because it is very very flush, it's very soft, there's a padding around the top the zip is at the bottom, so if you do need to change a nappy at night, it's awesome because you just literally, if I can do this at all, you just zip the bottom open and pop their legs out and you don't have to take it off them to change a nappy, which I think is amazing. I, I love them. Um, so Liam did think that that was a little bit of a problem. Whether it was or not, I actually don't know, but that's just something to think about. If your child doesn't like zips and things, maybe these aren't specifically for you. I know that there are a ton of different designs, a ton of different like styles, and I'm sure they do have poppered topped bags as well. So it's nothing to worry about. I do still really think this brand is awesome. Um, just with these ones, they are zippered on the front. Um, so yeah, I love it. It definitely, you know, it's still a bit too big. The leg aspect is absolutely awesome we popped it on him after he'd had his bath and he popped his little legs through and it was like feet um the only thing the only other thing because it's a bit big either that or you know scout's feet aren't very big at the minute in comparison to the size of the bag we did find that as he was sleeping because you can pop their legs in so they sleep but as he was sleeping his legs kind of just worked their way back out of the, the bags so maybe that's something to think about if your child does wear pajamas rather than um, put, like footy pajamas rather than a onesie. Maybe that's something to think about whether they should wear socks in bed. I don't know if they tend to get cold feet. I know Scout does. Um, so that might have been another thing that was kind of fussing him that night. Um, but yeah, I mean, if he was wearing footy pajamas, if he was in a onesie, I don't think it would have bothered him that his feet were cold either. So there are a lot of cons to Scout wearing this bag because Scout's a fussy little so and so. But all in all, I think these are awesome, I think they're so handy, and I think for a toddler, they are ideal, especially if they don't like blankets, and you don't want to transition onto a quilt or anything anytime soon, and you like to use sleep bags, I really do recommend these, and like learning to walk and playing just before bed, they're just awesome, and I don't know what else I can say about them, I really love them. I definitely would love to see a couple more different designs, like a different a bit more of a variety with choice for designs. You get a choice of two different togs, you get a choice of sizes, and I think I think they're great, and I really do recommend Slumber Sack UK. So I will leave all of the links down below. I'll leave their website. I will leave a link directly to this bag specifically, um, so you can go direct if you like this one that you've seen today. I will also leave their Facebook page link down below because that is how they contacted me. That's how we started talking. They're great. I've had nothing but a good experience working with this company, so I really do recommend it. If you ever have any questions or any qualms, feel free to just send them a message because they will get back to you super quick. They are really great and on top of things. And yeah, I couldn't recommend them enough. Go over, check out the website, see what else they do. I know they do like travel sleep bags, so you can put a baby in a sleep bag and then put them in a car seat. I don't know how car seat safe that is because of the whole padding issue blah 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 but they really do have a, a whole range of things that I wouldn't even think about I have never thought of feet on a sleep bag and I would never think of having a sleep bag that your baby can sleep in whilst they're traveling and it really they really do have a huge range of things and yeah I, I can't really recommend them enough I think they're great and I am very thankful for this sleep bag and I'm sure we're going to get a whole ton of use once Scout gets out of his fussy period and once he's grown a little bit more because like I said it is a still a teeny bit too big but I think he's gonna really get some good use of that out of the winter. Thank you so much for watching this review, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said the other day my channel is going to go through a bit of a transition and there's going to be a bit of a change up and all that if you want to kind of catch up go over and check out my previous video it was just kind of like a hi hello i'm back after this hiatus and 
you'll find out a little bit more about what we've been getting up to in my previous video. So please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you are new, I will be back in a few days time hopefully if I can get back into routine of filming now that the office is done and yes I will see you guys soon, thanks for watching, bye.